I'm Rob the Accountant. I'm also a Democrat, a real Democrat, running for the Democratic nomination to stop the campaigns of Joe Biden, Donald Trump, or really any candidate telling us how to live, what to ingest, or how to look. How's everybody doing today? Uh, the title of this video is President Biden or Biden is the Manchurian president. That's what I said. Biden is the Manchurian president. You say, well, Rob, what is what does that mean? What is the Manchurian? What does that mean? What is, what are you trying to infer? Um, because there's a difference between um, being a Manchurian, so to speak, um, and all out just being betraying your country and being a traitor. So let's start with what is the Manchurian? Well, the Manchurian candidate uh, is a book, all right? And we're just going to summarize the book very clearly, quickly here. And um, the Manchurian candidate is a novel first published in 1959. It's a political thriller about the son of a prominent U.S. political family who was brainwashed into being an unwitting assassin for a communist conspiracy. The novel has been twice adapted into a feature film with the same title. And so, again, uh, it's about the son of a prominent U.S. political family who was brainwashed into being an unwitting assassin for a communist conspiracy. Now, what I am saying is Joe Biden is, in fact, the Manchurian president because, um, first of all, he's not smart enough to come up with what I'm about to show you. So it's somebody else pulling him uh, and his strings. And he is from a political family. And his son uh, is also um, apparently used a lot of uh, the connections of that political family to get rich. Um, and we just don't know if it's at the expense of America or not. Nobody really knows because the Republicans won't do their job and actually have a real hearing. And the Democrats won't uh, submit to a process that they feel is just a dog and pony show. So back to the fact on why do I say uh, Biden is, in fact, the Manchurian president? Let me dive into that. From uh, Microsoft Start and News, State of the Union, I think it is. And it says, Joe Biden sets presidential record. Say, well, well, that doesn't sound very Manchurian, right? Look at, the, look at this guy. He's, he's great, right? He's setting records for us. Okay, well, the foreign-born population in the U.S. has reached an unprecedented 49.5 million under President Joe Biden, increasing by 4.5 million residents since he took office. Think about that, people. Out of 340 million Americans, that's that's one fifth, right? Six, six, seven, one, one six, one seventh of the country was not born in America. We are being infiltrated from within. I I sat and I wanted to know whether the Manchurian president was uh, the best title. Or should I use the Trojan president? Uh, but the Trojan president is uh, somebody who uh, sneaks in. And Joe Biden isn't smart enough to sneak in. Um, but again, here it is. The foreign-born population in the U.S. has reached an unprecedented 49.5 million under President Joe Biden. Increasing by almost 5 million people in two years. And anyone who says that the Democrats don't want these people to vote. I'm going to tell you as a Puerto Rican, as an American, as a New Yorker, I don't want these people to vote. Okay. People who are born here and are naturalized citizens should be the only people who are voting here. Uh, not people who um, came in with unclean hands or came in outside of the legal process. Those people uh, should never be able to be able to vote. Um, so this is where this is all about. But um, again, 4.5 million, almost 5 million people of non, they're not born in America. They're born somewhere else and they've gotten here somehow. This is the largest foreign born population in U.S. history, setting another record under Biden's watch. 
the monthly flow inflow of immigrants has doubled with more than half of their arrivals being illegal aliens. I don't like the term illegal, uh, that nobody's human, uh, illegal. Uh, we're all humans, they're undocumented. Um, at 15%, the foreign born share of the US population is also the highest ever recorded in American history. 15% of our population, people choosing our president, choosing our policies, helping fund uh, the, the, the bills that pay for our defense structure, our roads. Um, and this is one of the things where you can clearly see that uh, China is buying land in the U.S. and Saudi Arabia is buying land in the U.S. And all these countries now are taking our assets, <coughs> utilizing them for whatever infrastructure they need, and then sending the actual result of that, the benefit of that, after they've depleted everything here, back to their countries. So we're not even getting the economic driver of these policies. Again, 15% of the foreign born share of the US population is also the highest ever recorded in American history. And this is coming from the Center for Immigration Studies. Legal immigration accounts for about 75% of the total foreign born population. And without reductions, it's expected to hit 70 million by 2060. That would be almost one fourth of the population. You don't need to sit around and create this division between black and white and Republican and Democrat. Joe Biden is withering us from within. So as American voters express a desire for cuts to overall immigration, including legal immigration and oppose current immigration laws that allow for chain immigration, Joe Biden won't change course. And so once again, I want you to know this is why Donald Trump is going to win. This is why if I'm unable to force a primary and we are not able to get some more people who believe in democratic policies and helping the working people in America, the W-2, the silent W-2 majority, that I'm going to vote for Trump like everybody else. And I know that everybody in the media keeps saying, oh, well, this actor says they're going to vote. And uh, I believe Sexy Red's going to vote for Trump. And everywhere he goes, people are, are saying they're going to vote for Trump. Because at the end of the day, Joe Biden is diluting us from within. Joe Biden is diluting us from within. Not only that, let me take one more example. Um, I'm going to cut the video for one second and come back and show you a video where Joe Biden says we should be grateful. One second, one second, folks. One second. Be right back. <coughs> and I am back. So here, I have two examples. And the first example really is one of those things where this whole idea of America being white or black, you know, I don't even know what the color white means, you know, because like black, black can be brown, it can be shades of brown, it could be Indian, it could be Mexican, it could be black, it could be African American. You know, it just, I, this whole, we're all humans. And Joe Biden sounds a lot like a white abolitionist. And I don't know if he truly believes this because he lived in the state of Delaware. And I think the diversity in the state of Delaware is like less than 8%. So I don't know why he's out on such a limb to always try to act like he's a black person or what he is because all of his acts, everything he does towards the black community is actually against the black community. So I'm unsure of how he believes that he is representing the black community, but he comes out and he says these things all the time. And you wonder why people like Trump are going to win and beat him. Let me show you why right now. It's unlike any other large country in the world. So there's a second thing in that black box, an unrelenting stream of immigration, nonstop, nonstop. Folks like me who were Caucasian of European descent for the first time in 2017 will be in an absolute minority in the United States of America, absolute minority, fewer than 50% of the people in America from then and on will be white European stock. That's not a bad thing. That's a, that's a source of our strength. And so we have been, uh, we haven't always gotten it right. Okay, so you hear, this was something he said clearly um, 
a few years ago, but in 2017, uh, the demographics were to shift and white people were supposed to become the minority. I, I just don't know what world Joe Biden's living in. This is not true. Um, you know, and I don't know what he identifies those demographics, but everywhere I go, uh, most places in the United States of America, they seem to still be predominantly white. So here, here is uh, option number two. And again, with the Manchurian candidate, and again, listen, listen to what he says. Is he says um, that we should be thankful, we should uh, be supportive of them, uh, and that America's gotten it wrong before. Well, uh, prior to the 1900s, America didn't really have an immigration policy. There was, you didn't come into this country, you were born here. It was only because of the first wars in the World War One and World War Two that immigration became a policy of the United States of America. But if you go prior to 1900, it really wasn't a big policy of America. It was colonials and the country was trying to grow on its own accord and people were having babies and we we're growing from within, not bringing other people from outside and bringing them here and saying that was growth. So here, let's take a look quick on uh, example two and why I continue to say that Donald Trump is gonna win if there's not another democratic uh, process or another democratic candidate. And Donald Trump's gonna win because this is how Joe Biden feels about his own people. And so if Joe Biden's willing to sell out his own people, then how the hell can he represent us? He doesn't give a crap about us. If he's willing to send out his own flesh and blood, the Caucasian people, then there's no way that anything he's doing for us is good, okay? I would rather take Trump. He just pretends to not like anybody and whatever may come from it. I'd rather have that than rather somebody saying they like me and then doing everything they can behind my back to target me and make my life more miserable. Uh, again, it's like the marijuana laws in this country. Lock up black people for the last 50 years and you'll be hard pressed to maybe find 10 dispensaries in the United States out of all the dispensaries that are owned and that we have in the United States. You'd be hard pressed to probably find more than 10 of them that are fully 100% black owned. Not woman owned, not owned by a white dude with his wife. I'm talking about 100% black owned. But that's on a different subject. Let's check out what Joe Biden is going to say in this video and why I say Biden is in fact the Manchurian president. As I said, we still have problems, but uh, I'm proud of the American record on culture and economic integration uh, of not only our Muslim communities, but African communities, Asian communities, Hispanic communities, and, and the wave still continues. It's not going to stop. 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 It's not going to stop, nor should we want it 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 to stop. As a matter of fact, uh, um, it's one of the things I think we can be most proud of. I think we can be most proud of things. I think we can be most proud of things. I think we can be most proud of. Things I think we can be most proud of. Things I think we can be most proud of. There you have it, guys. Uh, this is the guy. This is your president. This is the guy that says he's for us. He's pushing democratic policies. And these policies are helping us. No jobs, high gas prices, high food prices, high housing prices. And Joe Biden says... The wave's not going to stop, and we should be happy about it. This is why Biden is the Manchurian president, and why President Joe Biden will not be the president in 2024. I'm Rob the Accountant. I'm also a Democrat, a real Democrat, running for the Democratic nomination to stop the campaigns of Joe Biden and Donald Trump from telling us what to do, how to live, or what to judge and what to ingest. Have a good day and thank you for your time.